Hola chicos, hello my friends. This week, I'm back in my studio here in Oaxaca City, where I'll be working on some new art for upcoming shows I have later this spring in Texas and here in Oaxaca. Estoy de vuelta a mi taller in Oaxaca City para trabajar en Nuevo Arte. As I look at my studio work table, I recognize how it looks like a stage for the activities of my creation. It reminds me of the field of becoming in Dzogchen, the form of Tibetan Buddhism, where we play out the concepts and themes of our existence here in the material world. This week I want to consider that as I'm working in my studio. Come along with me. Let's check it out. Vamos. One of the things about creativity is it tends to make a mess of things at least for me. So I keep having to go back and organize my space time and time again. But that's a good thing. Like it says in the myth of when the world was created, out of chaos arises creation. Now my work table is clean, or as clean as it's gonna get. I think the first thing I want to do is take some of the objects and materials I've been collecting and look at them and see where I can go in this process of creation. I have some nails which I've been collecting as I walk along the street. I envision embedding them in the flip-flops I bought a couple of years ago, creating some type of symbolic sculpture. I have some poster fragments I've been collecting from the street. I can see them becoming flags or annuncios for the tianguis. And lastly, I have some new ceramic objects I've been working on in the clay workshops, Taller de Barro, here in Oaxaca. The last two have been fired in the kiln, but not yet finished. I'm excited to get to those. In Dzogchen, an outgrowth of the indigenous Bun teachings of Tibet, one is taught to recognize their natural perfection, a primordial state free of all karmic traces. This is the equivalent to the empty stage I referred to before, of my work table as a place of creation. Onto that empty stage, we start to create mental formations. That is how the material world comes into being. Our mental activities can be based in ignorance and lead to suffering, or they can become purified and direct us toward compassionate pursuits, ways of caring for ourselves and others. Either way, this material world is a field of becoming, one that is directed either by our unconscious karma or our consciously chosen path of dharma. I've worked a lot with shoes over the years, making surreal sculptural objects which represent the challenges and growth along life's journey. I've actually stepped on nails more than once as a kid. It really hurts and you have to go to the doctor and get a tetanus shot. I've been collecting these nails as I walk along the streets of Oaxaca. When I first started doing it, I would just see the nail lying on the street and pick it up and throw it to the sidewalk so someone would not get a flat tire. Then I started to realize the nails that I was collecting had a lot of personality. In the past, I would have turned that symbolic element to the inside 
like I've made shoes for performances that had gravel on the inside of the shoe. So I really like now how they're turning outward. It's like it represents that transition from a karmic way of suffering to a dharmic path of liberation. So what I came up with as I struggled to find a way to work with these poster fragments was to cut them up into individual banners, flags, or pennants, which I can paint or add collage materials on top of. When I create with found materials, the history of the material becomes a part of the work. And so these poster fragments with which I'm working carry with them the energetic imprint of their time here on the streets of Oaxaca. Getting back to that field of becoming, I am manifesting something from my emptiness nature, something which I hope will have some type of wisdom attached to it as it comes into the material world. So what I came up with are these little prayer flags dedicated to the Ficheras, the dancing girls for hire in the traditional cantinas here in Mexico. I really like how they come across as festive, celebratory, and profane all at the same time. When you're an artist, the things you make are really an expression of your own internal world. And so what comes out, in a sense, is just a reflection of what's already there on the inside. I like that, how we get to work with images and symbols to communicate in ways which are culturally coded, but also deeply personal. What do you think? Does it catch my better side? Ooh, what's happening? What are you doing tonight? You're looking fine. There it is. Now come take a look at these cool new works I just finished. When we connect to ourselves, we open up the potential for our creativity to burst forth in an authentic way, whether we're artists, musicians, performers, or just people who go to work and take care of ourselves. We bring into the material world those things which are in alignment with our very nature. And I really can't think of anything better to do than that. Thanks for joining me on this journey. 
Gracias por andar conmigo en esta aventura. Until next week, my friends, take care of yourselves. Cuidate. And as always, stay creative. Te amo.